Alrighty, ladies and gents, we have got the Bren MK9 light machine gun sitting in front of us right here. Finally got it to mask us. I am so sorry this took so long. For those of you that don't know, uh, before this last little update where they added the uh, the shipment only playlist, my thing was glitched out and like it was not allowing me to progress and unlock this LMG. I actually unlocked it today and grinded and got it to mask us. Tried a bunch of weapon variations and there's going to be two videos videos coming out for this LMG. We're going to be doing the one right now, which is my best class setup for multiplayer. And then secondly, there is a completely separate setup that you'll want to run if you're trying to run this in Warzone. So in the event you're a Warzone only player, then just have to hold your breath, cross your knees, and pinch your balls until that one drops. But let's take and hop right into this. With this, we're basically just going to be turning this thing into an assault rifle. In order to do that, we're going to start off with a monolithic suppressor. Just because why not? It doesn't need the range or that slight little accuracy boost that you get. But it doesn't hurt your mobility by the time we throw the other attachments. And you just have the benefit of the range and the sound suppression. Then we're going to go over to the barrel and throw on the 18-inch para barrel. Now that right there is one that you can kind of hold off on, and I'll touch on that here in a second. This thing is very accurate by the time we get done, so I'm actually not throwing an underbarrel attachment on this bad boy. Now to help with the ADS time, we're going to be throwing on the 60 round mag attachment, and the reload speed for this bad boy is phenomenal, okay? It's very good. Uh, I don't know if they'd sped it up just because it's a side load magazine system or what, but either way, it works phenomenal. Uh, for the grip, we are going to be throwing on the stipple grip tape because it actually helps a lot more than most weapons stipple grip tape option does. Uh, that might be something that gets nerfed later on, who knows. Then we're going to go be in stock, throw on the no stock options, and there's your five attachments. Now the thing I wanted to touch on at the end here is the fifth attachment for me was this Bruin 18 inch barrel, and that's mainly just because I'm playing shipment so that sight bump and ADS helps quite a bit but if you wanted to you could trade that out for uh, optic uh, I really don't think you need an under barrel for any reason whatsoever unless you're trying to go really long distance with this like whenever I took and hopped into hardcore to get the long shots uh, I took off the 18 inch barrel threw on the sniper scope and then I was ready to rock and roll still run with the 60 round mags and hardcore because the ADS time you know it only takes one or two bullets even at long range to pop people's Puss down. But now, so that right there is the five attachments for this. And now, once again, the, the, the best setup for Warzone is completely different than this. I mean, you could probably run this in Warzone and have a fine day with it up close. But if I'm rock and roll with a primary LMG out of a loadout drop, I want it to be set up for more of a like longer range engagements. And I have my secondary uh, Akimbo snake shots to deal with people up close and personal. Now for a full class rundown, we got the Bruin MK9 light machine gun setup I just showed you guys for a secondary rocking the X16. Check out my recent uh, 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 English Obsidian uh, X16 best class setup video. I'll touch on that. Uh, then for a perk, it's going to be rocking EOD Ghost and Tune Up. For a lethal, we got a frag grenade. For a tactical, we got a stun grenade. So let's just take and hop in the old shipment playlist and see what we can do with this bad boy. Dog, we got shipment hard point. Let's get it. Now, I want to preface this match by saying we are still got, it's still an LMG. And I've already had some amazing matches on shipment with this thing. But I've also had some pretty god awful matches. Match? Dude, I swear I got to quit doing this after I've been up for 18 god dang hours and slammed about two and a half pots of coffee. Because the, the, the brain and the tongue and the lips, they just don't want to cooperate with each other. But, I mean, I mean this thing right here, definitely AR level play out. But, I mean, you're not going to be able to really compete with subs depending on, you know, how the people's playing. How the team's playing the game mode, this, that, and the other. This is a setup that I would definitely recommend primarily running, you know, in just like regular... TDM uh, matches and things of that nature. We're just going to kind of play back, try to play a little bit of range, get a couple kills, maybe pop a UAV, then we'll go in for Betty Jen, keep it up close and personal. I mean, it's shipment. It's going to end up being that way before the end of things. But the nice thing about this 60 round mag attachment is you can just throw in a new mag right quick, fast, in a hurry. You don't have to wait. Like, you don't age two years just trying to change the old belt fed magazine on this thing. Now, for, like I said, for game modes like Warzone, I do like to throw on the 200 round mag attachment. Well, it's not even really a, a mag, you know, it's a belt. It's the belt attachment that just holds 200 rounds. Because that's how I run my PKM. 
I'm um, actually probably, I don't know, I haven't decided if I want to edit it together or not yet. I don't know, he just had to spawn on me. We, we, we need to just step it up and say screw the KD and just try to get killed so you guys can see how this thing runs. KD doesn't even matter. By the time I had this thing run through, bro, my KD was not too hot because when I was doing that smoke screen thing, I was just like, just tunnel visioned on doing that and it i ended up getting a uh, a lot of deaths and a lot of matches there that guy just threw that c4 flipping i don't know uh, no disrespect to old kobe and everything but i don't know if like the whole kobe thing still counts whenever you throw a you know a grenade across the helicopter i mean across the the maps i mean i guess now you just say helicopter crash i don't know like what the new saying for that's going to be but we'll figure it out uh, oh okay that's a cruise missile from that last game we played, bro, we already know the cruise missiles, they just come right for me. I got that big red X right on my forehead. And I see, with this, we got phenomenal ADS time. We ain't got no laser, so we can pre-aim down sight as much as necessary. Throw in a new magazine right quick, fast, in a hurry, pop up on this barrel. Wish I'd have seen his name tag right there. Would have made my life a lot easier. Seven and three. Got to pull out that obsidian pistol and take a look at my old wristwatch right there. Got all the wrist swag. Hello, is there a guy right here? feel like I got schizophrenia or something trying to stand right here. And, wh why am I not hitting that up? There we go. There's a three-piece and a biscuit that I needed early in the morning. Like, I mean, it's 2 a. Is it 2 a.m. or 3 a.m.? I don't know. I don't want to look at my phone right now. Take my take my hand off the controller, off the, off the action here. Dude, if they call that thing in right on this... They really did. They really did, but nobody sees me snaking. Oh, that guy's slipping. That girl's slipping. I think one of her dude jigs slipped out of her shirt, too. She's actually got some pretty big ones, if I'm being honest about it. Like, you know, I feel like she, after all the stomping around on here, she's going to have some major back problems later in life, and I hate it for her. But why are you near me, teammate? Get away. God dang. Got a firefly stuck to your chest. Let's calm it down with that. Be a team player, son. You got to bite the bullet. And there it is. It's going to be one of those thermite matches. Thermite matches. Here, can we lay down and get, oh, get this guy. Is this guy going to come this side of the dump? Nope. He's going to come to the middle and mid-map. Thank you, teammate. See, that teammate right there, he's a team player. Got my back. I need to try to snag a couple kills on that hard point to see if we can uh, kind of boost our position on the leaderboard here. Because I feel like that guy has got most of his kills on the hard point. If not, well, not most, but a couple of them. Phenomenal spawns. Call of Duty developers, round of applause for your phenomenal spawn points. The whole back side of the maps, nobody's there, and you're still spawning me. On another man's barrel like a shish kebab. Really appreciate it. Oh my god, okay, let's see if we can loop around right here. Get back over on the hard point, and then now he's still spawning behind me. Like, what? It's the woman with her boob out. What do you know? Let's pop this guy in the head. The thing that actually took longer than I expected with this when I was working on it was the headshots. Like, I was able to level this gun up super fast because of double XP and stuff that was out right now. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to go mid-map and see if I can snag this guy. There we go. That thermite, of course, I just laid a thermite out of my butt, bro. He just stood right between my legs. A ghillie suit just burned its way right up. Singed my pew power right off. We'll get that guy off. No, we're not. No, we're not. We just got shot from the container. There's always somebody over there at that container, bro. It never fails. Like, they always spawn and hang around that back door of that thing. Or they just chill on the inside. I think my, yeah, my grenade got him pretty good. We're going to hit that guy. No, we're not. We're going to get shot with pink fairy. Guy. I don't even know what to call those things. Those tracer rounds. It's always like, it's just diminishing whenever you get killed with pink tracer rounds. Like, I don't mind the blue or green ones as much, or the red ones, but the pink ones, bro, they just, they hurt my feelings. They hurt my feelings, they really do. I just feel, what is it, is it demas yeah, demasculated, that's the word. Oh my god, okay, what's the, what's the, I'm about to pull the pistol out and give him the old one-two buckle my shoe. Okay, we're still, we're still positive though, that, that's, that's the good thing here. We're gonna pop out and get, <gasps> Me and him, did me, did me and that man just trade? I think we really did, and then we one-shot that guy because he's weaker than all get out. Slide around here. This guy's around the back side. We're going to stun him and hit him with the old slippy. Nope. Well, he got hit with a, uh, with, with a strike thing, so let's lay down. we got to get back on this hard point game before these guys catch back up to us. I'm going to try bouncing a nade off, get this guy in the back. I mean, it's it's definitely fair to lose to a gunfight to a PKM because it's it's you know it's, it's a heavier damage round. The PKM is still my favorite LMG, I would say, but this thing right here is nothing to scoff at. This would definitely be my second favorite LMG and my like my phenomenal. My PKM class is still my go-to Warzone class at the moment, aside from my sniper class. Uh, 
So, you know, that's just a FYI if you're interested. But this gun right here is definitely worth considering it's a free gun. Oh, my God, bro. Look at that. Guess what happened, boys? Guess what happened? I just gave a kill to the flipping, uh, to the VSAT because that's just... I mean, that's a really, it's a trademark of mine, you know, nobody better be getting disconnected controllers in their gameplay because I, that's mine, you know what I mean? Is this an enemy? It really is. And look at, there's the place, that's the spot I'm talking about. That's the puss that's always chilling behind that flipping swing out door right there. Dude, oh my, this is my favorite part of Call of Duty, this is why I spent money on the game. It's just, just to die, get spawn killed all the time, the whole game, just to have Jesus Christ shoot me from the sky. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go right here, go down here. And uh, throw on some cold blooded so we don't have to deal with the VSAT. We can just focus on killing these guys. Let's just slide around here. Oh, she's seen it coming, but we still got her. Oh, wow, but she came and got me right back. <laughs> Look at that. Eat my obsidian bullets, you puss. Okay, right. what am my KD looking like? 23. Whoa, 20. When. Uh, D d have I been in a parallel universe for the past two minutes? When did I get those other deaths, bro? I thought I was positive, and now I'm just. Almost a, a lot negative, a lot negative, and I need that to not be the case. I'm gonna have to hit some drop shots on these men. I hate to do it to them, hate to see it, but it's gotta be done. And these guys are catching up hardcore, so we gotta do something about that as well. I wanna I gotta watch the cruise missile, the the, the precision air strikes. What what have they not got? The kitchen sink? Oh, oh, oh. Man, I think I about had a VSAT, so I think it's about one kill away. Spawn there we go. Now the spawns are on my side. That's what I like to see is they're spawning right behind them, sticking them right on my barrel. And well, there's flipping Jim West coming around the corner. Pop me with the lever action. What do you expect? I mean, like, in retrospect, I shouldn't have played shipment, but since this is, like, the best game mode to play to level your guns up, I, I know most of you guys are going to be in it right now, especially if you don't have this gun or you're going to try to get it you know, gold or, or whatever, you know, get it, the mask us, add it to your collection, then this map's a good one to play to do that. So, I mean, you know, why not? I guess I like to keep it real. Some games go phenomenal. Some games go sour real quick. This guy's just chilling in there. Guy spawned right behind me. The thing that's bothered me now is we was winning pretty good, and now we're losing. So, I want to really just kind of focus up on the objective a bit, but I got to kill my way there first. Like, our time in the hard point is pathetic. Like, I normally always have, like, two minutes in the hard point. I play that thing very, very hard. And now, I swear, we're just sacking from the bottom on the leaderboard. That's pathetic. Horrible gameplay. But that's it. That's how it goes. Like I said, that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Still 33 kills. I don't, I'm not going to be using this gun on shipment from this point out. Like, I'm, I, it's not the best shipment gun. Like, anytime I'm on here, I like to run the PP-19 Bison, just a submachine gun primarily, or an assault rifle set up in an aggressive fashion. Uh, unless you just want to, like, camp in one of the corners and, you know, spray out with the LNG. And, I mean, that's the option, but it's not something that I would recommend doing because it's kind of a cheap thing to do. But with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out the uh, the Warzone setup for this weapon if that's something you're interested in. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you dig in the new LMG. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share with your friends, your neighbors, your aunts, your uncles, your unborn children, whatever it is. And uh, yeah, guys, appreciate you watching. And until the next one, adios.